Howdy cowdies, weekly walkabout time at the collector. Hope you're going good, I don't care. <laughs> Got lots of nice stuff in the auction this week. We've been busy again. Swap cards, advertising, glamour and art deco. These are cool motoring ones with a couple of old Holden ones in them. Some really nice old autograph albums. This little one over the back, lot 181's got really nice illustrations and stuff from the 1930s. These are cool old sort of advertising film cards. Charlie Chaplin on the top there. There's a bunch of them in the group. You've got the bobblehead Beatles cake toppers. Really nice uh, sterling silver fob watch. I just can't remember the name that it's engraved on the movement. Um, nice little sterling silver ashtray made for Hardy Brothers, not the Hardy Boys. Uh, enameled horse racing membership medallion, South Australian ones. Cool pair of old Bolle wraparound sunglasses. And we've got some nice vintage footballer cigarette cards. What else have we got? Lovely pair of old Windsor chairs. They've got really nice sort of worn patina on the arms. These nice little Victorian music Canterbury. And there's a little bit of damage down one of the sides here of the fretwork. A little bit of sticky table fix that. Got the nice big carved vintage style console table. And this is cute. Lot number one, nice little sort of specimen draw unit. Little corner cabinet's quite nice. Big collection of blue and white china. Collection of green glass. Some nice art glass in amongst. Nice little pair of Edwardian chairs. A couple of cool clothes racks. Big box of cassette tapes. Big group lot of empty display bottles of grog. Sample only, not for resale. So they're all empty but they're all sealed they're really cool um some ladies bags and accessories there's some nice crocodile and sort of snake skin ones but they might need a little bit of work here and there but that's a lovely bag cool group lot of old workman's jackets and some vinyl sort of pants with the lace-up sides pretty cool a big russian military sort of great coat and we've got some lacquered italian designer bookshelf in pieces uh, cool little box of sort of householdy gear. There you go, including the nice little tea towel with all the birds. What else? More box of sort of ceramics, Martin Boyd and other bits and bobs. Nice pair of, I think it's James Wolseley, Warmersley, Lindsay Warmsley. Nice pair of watercolours. And um, we've got a pretty cool old sport lane bike or something like that with all the original pedals and rims and some spare rims and tyres and stuff for it. It's pretty cool with the old straight handlebars and the old metal sort of brake lever mechanisms. Nice collection of clocks. A couple of cool little retro ones in amongst. Um, some rugs. What else have we got? A collection of mid-century furniture, parker chairs and a nice little teak coffee table. A little giant step ladder's a ripper. Some nice Ampol drums, some mobile drums, and some nice hurricane lamps. What else have we got? Horse head lamps with the shades. Uh, some nice bits and bobs in the little jewellery cabinet. Heaps of advertising bottle openers and stuff. Some horse race cards. Another nice little collection of clocks and sort of fob watches. Really nice little console table. A little marble top to go on it. A little bit of damage on some of the metal leaves, but they're there to go back on. It's a couple of Bickerton portable bikes. Another ripper old sort of fixed wheel bike down the back with the gold sort of painted frame. And the rims are really cool with the green and white, sorry, green painted frame with the green and white painted rims to match. Really cool thing. Good box of soft toys, rainbow brights. And old possum from good old Shell's neighbourhood, Humphreys, Glowworms, Smurfs, and that little fella. All right. Shell art, and the big group lot, like 10 boxes or something of all the shells. Some sort of industrial racks, little collection of oil paintings and prints and stuff, some nice gold prints. Big ref convex reflector mirror, which supposedly is off a World War II searchlight. 
that it's convex, not concave. There's no details on it. Nice big oil painting signed R. Glennon, dated 1922. I did want to call it Wimmerway, but I chose not to. Now, the nice naive oil painting. This is about 1900. This is really cool. Little cottage scene with lots of stuff going on. And that little bloke hiding down in the bushes. It looks like he's got a gun. I reckon he's about to shoot that guy. Maybe not, though. What else? What else? What else? Some nice paintings. Maxwell Wilkes is a little ripper. I think it's called Summer Day Castle, Maine. Really nice Ignacio Marmol watercolour. Great artist. Overlooked, I reckon. This is a lovely thing. The condition's average, as you can see, but it's a nice George Bell School charcoal nude. We've got some. This is a ripper. Little Peter Harrell etching an aquatint. Borge series, I think. Signed down here in pencil. Pretty typical, sort of surreal with some weird figures and stuff in it. All right. Um, artist unknown, big 1970s oil. It is signed lower right, but it's hard to make it out. And this is a lovely oil. Um, J, I think it's Callenson. Really nice of a harbour scene in Holland. As you can see, it's got a bit of damage here and there. Needs a clean. Clement Fraser oil's nice, and this is a cool lot. Sydney Island sort of <coughs> um, exhibitions items. So you've got the big sort of black painted foam Ned Kelly, and you've got all these Perspex panels with the Nolan text and some applied prints of Luna Park, some of his other sort of famous images. Just a cool group. Nice collection of <coughs> um, scale model aircraft engines all in their boxes. The Hornby O gauge train sets a ripper. Um, nice collection of butterfly specimens. There's some really cool movie posters this week. This is a big three sheet for a big horror movie called Prophecy. I'm not getting them out of the packets, but all the lot numbers are there. You'll be able to see what they are in the online in the catalog. These are cool from THX 1138 movie stills, which I think is one of George Lucas's first movies. A couple of cool pairs of giddy up cowboy boots. Some more scale model aircraft engines and propellers and stuff. Fantastic big, um, I think it's Tilly brand, big handheld lantern with a nice big Tilly reflector on the back. A couple of nice brass pumps. A couple of nice reproduction Victorian style electrified oil lamps. Casey Sealy oil. Cool lot of Bolle ski goggles. Another little Game Boy with accessories. More movie posters. He's a ripper, the little original 1970s roller skateboard. It's got all the original brand, roller branded trucks and wheels and stuff on it. Superman cards, Chris Achilleos fantasy cards, more movie posters. Uh, I think this is a Belgian day bill of Reach for the Sky. Um, funnily enough, we've got that lotted up next to the Battle of Britain cards. More aircraft engines. These are made by Enya. I don't think it's the same person who used to sing. <laughs> Gilligan's Islands cards, fantastic record. I spit on your gravy. St Kilda's all right. I think it's what three. I think it's just an EP. So three tracks on both sides. Great band. If you haven't heard them, go and listen to Piranha on YouTube. Noddy, Mr Plod, big ears squeak. Noddy doesn't because he doesn't have a squeaker in him, but he's got a bell. All right, what else have we got? Some pretty cool big plastic sort of three-dimensional uh, medical sort of science displays. Nice pair of fire dogs with a little fire grate. <laughs> Helen Franklin watercolour gouache of a bird of paradise. Big Australian pottery vase, which looks to be signed Forster and dated 71. Another nice pair of fire dogs, a bit of fleur-de-lis action. Big lot of Australian CDs. There's some cool stuff in amongst there and Normie Rowe. Australian pottery, <coughs> jacket. I reckon that's a little bit of remude, a bit unusual with the salt glaze. I think that's probably a bit of unsigned Janet Gray. Uh, what else have we got? Japanese, Noritake and other ceramics, some monkeys of Melbourne glasses. One of them or a couple of them are a little bit faded, but the Tassie Devil's all right. Now we've got a monkeys of Melbourne little soft toy. Zinzini or something is his name. Um, nice collection of retro gear. Two Bakelite phones, nice little sort of 1980s plastic desk set with a big stapler to go with it. 
Um, three Stooges cards. A lot of sort of mixed lot of CDs. Madness. Uh, a bit of Bob Marley, Spandau Ballet, Queen, Elvis Costello, Amy Winehouse. Um, Kokeshi dolls. Some nice blue art glass. And the movie poster or two. Um, sort of heavy metal, hard rock, Pearl Jam, Soundgarden, Blur, Bon Jovi, Bon Jovi, Australian Pottery, CDs and cassettes, Beatles, Def Leppard, Playboy cards, another couple of nice Tilly Lanterns, nice oil painting by Charles Frederick Gerard, another little mixed group lot with the big pepper grinder and a Zippo cigarette lighter and some nice little 1930 Scotty dogs. What else have we got? These are cool, the order sheets. Where can I get it? Progressive Selling Agency, Bree Street, Ballarat, Oven Street, West Brunswick. So these are big sort of forms that you would have rung up and ordered things, and these would have been your order sheets. This is in bound volume of The Truth paper, July to December 1976. Nice big lot of correspondence, ephemera and stuff. George Jensen designed a little two-piece sort of set there, a bit of fondue. What else have we got? Some more glass, more movie posters. Nice etching of a battle scene. Dick Tracy cards, part set of Batman puzzle back cards. A um, little lot of Australian pottery. Nice Japanese woodblock print. Here's a ripper, the Walesco live steam engine there with all the sort of paperwork and gear to go with it. Nice lot of Scandinavian art glass. The little green one's nice with the bulbous sort of centre. We've got some nice stuff down in the end cabinet as well. We've got some great catalogues. Jewelry catalogues. I think those two actually go together. Yes, they do. There's a good Ken Scott mid century brand spanking new tea towels. Harmony and furniture designed by Malcolm Reed, Burke Street, Melbourne. A lovely old catalogue. Really nice ladies' snakeskin bag. Falstaff, the Dalton character jug. Dumbrell's jewelry catalogue. Chandler's catalogue hardware. And there's another nice one of Wicker and Seagrass Furniture catalogue. So we've got more movie posters. A couple of nice books here, Air Navigation, Royal Air Force, and a nice little sort of uh, Rest of My Life with 50 Squadron, nice little biographical book. Um, we've got a fantastic big souvenir booklet from Frankston. Lovely big sort of panoramic photographs or images and stuff throughout. Um, this is a great movie poster day, Bill. Dust in the Sun, I think it's called. Australian film from 1958. Arthur Boyd reference book. Les Cossatt's reference book. Great artist. His photograph album's lovely. Feather uh, Singer Featherlight Sewing Machine. Nice big collection of copper kitchenware. Some of it, I think, is marked Made in Sweden. Uh, what else have we got? A book on Les Blakeborough Pottery. And we've got a nice bit by Les Blakeborough. Unfortunately, though, there's a bloody crack in it. Quite a large crack that comes down here to about here. Little pair of the bookends. Fantastic Art Deco Jansen bathing costume box. And another nice little Art Deco clock. I really like this little gimbal sort of mounted oil chamber stick. Really nice sort of arts and crafts, Art Nouveau. And he's a ripper, the big American railway sort of handheld lantern. Photograph album, though, which is lot number 229, is pretty amazing. It's got lovely photographs. Portland, there's panoramic shots, interior scenes. I think there's a James Lint photograph in amongst as well of the Australasian Bank or something like that in Melbourne. Just a really nice album. And that's the Lint there, actually. Anyway... That'll do. Hopefully you saw something you liked. Be good. See you all tomorrow night.